Hey there guys, I am The Six Machine and welcome back to another Warhammer video. So the amazing news this weekend was that the pre-order announcement for next week is finally, after years of being left out in the dark, the Black Templars are getting their box set and limited edition codex, much like the Orc Beastnaggers. So there is a very exciting week ahead for you fans of the Black Templars as we will almost certainly be getting a load of new rules and information about the Codex over the coming week. But today they gave us a very nice early surprise by showing off a huge amount of new models that will be coming along for the Black Templars in the very near future. And what we have first is a frankly gorgeous new model based on some very famous artwork that you've almost certainly seen before but is up on the screen now. And this is a brand new Black Templar style lieutenant who is called a Castellan. And as you can see, he is once again such a faithful recreation of that original artwork, which is a, a style and a theme that GW really seem to be pushing lately. So as a quick aside, if you have any favourite characters or units that you are interested in maybe theory crafting about what they might look like if and when they do eventually get redone for your army if it's a Space Wolf or a Blood Angel or a Dark Angel, maybe looking through some of the older artwork from earlier editions and codexes might be a good way to get some ideas flowing around your head. But back to the Castellan, the thing about this guy is his armour is very much not in keeping with the usual Primaris style. It's very Baroque and Black Templar inspired, but it does look very much firstborn-ish. And there is a lot of speculation on the internet at the moment about whether this guy may well be the first brand new firstborn marine that we've seen in, let's be honest, years and years. And it would be incredibly cool if that was the case. Personally, I'm still somewhat dubious as we do all know that GW is massively pushing Primaris, but it would be very cool indeed if this was a brand new firstborn model to go along with the Black Templars. If you did want to do an all firstborn Black Templar army with the, the models that you may already have. But in any case, I really do love his armor. I love the shoulder pads. I love the combi flamer. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the power axe personally. It looks a tiny little bit wimpy to me as though the shaft would just snap if he swung it into a big monstrous Tyranid or a tank or something. But aside from that, he is every bit the classic grim dark looking Black Templars character that I think we've come to expect from this refreshed range. And I do think that overall, he's gonna be a very, very popular model, not only for Black Templars players to paint up and build, but for other players to maybe convert into some kind of chaplain or maybe even some Chaos players to convert into some kind of Chaos Marine. We also finally got to see the rest of the Sword Brethren kit, obviously seeing the first member in the actual box set reveal we had a little while ago. And these guys are quite possibly the most exciting thing coming with the Black Templars for me, because in my mind, they now definitively prove that going forward, we are going to be seeing more diversification and custom loadouts for chapter specific units. These guys are quite frankly brilliant. They have an incredibly cool design and each of them is in this unbelievably unique and stylized pose and has a great mishmash of, you know, power swords and plasma guns and power mauls and yes, even lightning claws. Primaris dual lightning claws are, well, <laughs> the pictures on the screen, they're confirmed, which is so so cool in my mind and something that I think we have all wanted ever since Primaris first came about. And as you can see on your screen now by looking at them, they all have such an individual look to them. They could pretty much pass as a character or HQ option in pretty much any other Marine army with a tiny bit of kit bashing work. And that, in my mind, is a really good sign of a fantastically designed, diverse unit. So I am ridiculously hyped for these guys to come out. And I am so, so excited to see what this means for not only the Black Templars, but also other chapters in the future. But even then, that wasn't all that they had to show off. Much like the other chapters have, the Black Templars are getting their own unique upgrade sprue, and this one is, frankly, the best we've ever seen. I think if other armies and chapters get something like this eventually, the amount of customization and 
unique identity you're going to be able to give your army is just unbelievable. And as you can see on your screen, there is a huge number of unique heads, weapon options, swords, shoulder pads, candles, books, and loads of other cool unique doodads. There's even, if you look closely, something that resembles the holy hand grenade from Worms, which I think is an awesome little throwback and something I am really, really looking forward to seeing modeled on some Black Templar characters. And then on top of that, for you Crusade players or anyone that just likes to add some narrative to their armies, what is really, really exciting about this upgrade sprue is that there are uniquely designed bits of war gear to represent these specific relics and pieces of war gear that you can choose for your army. So as you can see on the screen now, the Sword of Judgment, the Crusader's Helm, the Skull of Cacodominus all have a way to visually represent those pieces of war gear on your models, which is a fantastic design choice from Games Workshop and will really, really allow you to, not just in Crusade or narrative games, but even in like a competitive match play game where you're giving someone a relic, allow you to bring that extra level of detail and, you know, sort of focus to your armies and to your characters to show them and really make them stand out on the tabletop, which is something that this range, this Black Templar range in general, has done a really, really good job of doing. So this is something I really do hope that GW does for each and every army to let you represent the growth of your characters and really show them with these mighty weapons and pieces of war gear and, you know, shields or whatever it may be that they are carrying into battle. We also got to see the brand new 240 part transfer sheet, which as always is a brilliant little thing from GW. They always, in my opinion, do fantastic transfer sheets with a huge amount of options to, uh, to put onto your tanks and your vehicles and your Marines. And this one is no different. You will 100% be able to use this to make your crusading forces look legitimate and let's be honest, terrifying on the battlefield. And then the final thing that's worth mentioning is that there is also a pre-order promise for this whole weekend. They mention it at the bottom of the article. So like they did with Octarius, even if you miss that initial rush first thing in the morning, if you make a pre-order of the Black Templars box this weekend, you will get a copy, even if it is a bit delayed. So that is again another brilliant shout on GW's part. As we all know, there's been problems with pre-order weekends for years and years and years with uh, things running out and, and people not getting what they want. So this kind of pre-order promise to let you get it at some point over the weekend, as long as you make your order that weekend, is a really, really good idea. And if you do want that collector's codex and these brand new Black Templars models, you will definitely be able to get your hands on them. But what do you think of the article today? What do you think of the Sword Brethren models? And also, do you think that the Castellan is a Primaris Marine or is he a Firstborn? Let me know in the comments below and as always thank you very much for watching please do like and subscribe for more warhammer content from me but until next time i'll catch you later guys